Welcome back to Halloweenville and as I said before we are doing traps and here before you I have Buzzsaw traps or buzzkill traps however you want to put it uh, We have the walled version inspired by DMG and we have the floor version inspired by DM Scotty uh, The variation that I did on these was I took the blades from DM Scotty's tutorial and put them on the walls um, But all the concepts are pretty much the same so how do you use these in your game with your dungeon 2.5D dungeon tiles? Well, these are obviously the clip-on walls that we've been doing. And behind them, you'll see this narrow passageway. And let's say we have an adventurer coming down the hallway. Boop, boop, boop. Triggers the trap. Very cool, right? Let's say he actually makes it by it. Goes a little bit further. Do, 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 do. Oh, he almost got it. <laughs> uh, makes it by that one. Do, 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 do. And gets sliced in half by that one. <laughs> so that's how that could work. Uh, and keeping it narrow like that, they have to go through single file. So it really um, puts them in danger's way. So I like that. And there's other variations that you can do with that. Um, and I like, I did this one uh, this way and then angled these two just to give some variation on it so that it's not the same thing over and over again. The floor buzzsaw traps. Let's say, do 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 do. Let's say we have some adventurers that just walked into the room, and these saw blades rise from the floor and just go, and then they have to do a check to get out of the way. You know, maybe those two make it, but this one goes and slices that one all the heck. The other two blades, you know, they pass through and then they sink back down into the floor. So let's say the other two players, this guy's wounded. The blades sink back down into the floor. They're panicking, looking for a way out of this room. And then race towards them. And then, of course, they would do a check to get out of the way. I love these little traps. These are so cool. And you can even... um take a empty hallway and put these in um, maybe not one with so many angles because the saw blade would not really turn very well but if you had a straight passageway and they can run down it um, there is a really long corridor in one of the levels that I'll be running that would be great to throw these on just to change it up and add some excitement to it because it's just a really long corridor. Um, so yeah, that's what we have here. We have buzz saw blades, and I'm gonna give you a closer look at these. Look at all that blood. Uh, and I'll give you a closer look at one of the walls. I did do the underside too. So this can be seen at all sides, even the back side. So even if this went off this way, you know, at least you got a nice brick wall to look at instead of, you know, just a plain serial card. <laughs> so, and as I've mentioned before, I did hand paint all the bricks on these, uh, on the wall segments. And this I did uh, pretty much precisely as Scotty did. I just did my own blood effects. And uh, yeah, so I'll put a link in the description below to both of those tutorials. And we'll see you next time. I've got one more trap that I'm finishing up. Um, but I really want to show off uh, one of the monsters, one of my first monsters that I made. So that's going to be in your next video, guys, tomorrow.
So we'll see you then and have a great day.